Okay, so the software that we're going to look at right now is one that is called Drama Queen. Um, I have the site pulled up. It is dramaqueen.info, and then um, I will also include the link uh, when I post it as well. But what I really like about this particular uh, software is it really is it's user friendly, um, and it does help you with the same kind of workflow as it says with uh, Final Draft. You get characters, locations, script notes, scene titles, and scene summaries. So we're going to open up a document and uh, just show you how to set yours up very easily. Uh, what's also a nice factor about this one as well is that you can import scripts from PDFs and you can export into Word and Final Draft as well as a PDF. So if you are writing um, and you want to make it in a PDF to have somebody look at it and not make any changes, you can do that. Uh, another advantage, too, is that if it does go into a Word document, what is really cool is that you can send it as an attachment, then you can also open it up in Google Docs. And so if it's in Google Docs, you invite people. What is kind of nice is then everybody can kind of work on it. It's already been formatted through Google Docs. Then you can download that as a Word document. And then from a Word document, what you can do is, um, you know, transfer that back into Drama Queen and work it that way. So, um, you know, it's just really good. I, you know, you've got the draw drag and drop um, navigator, platform independent. Um, you can auto format the script. So we're going to go through that. And what also is really great about Drama Queen, um, sometimes when you get free versions of software, they put watermarks all over it. Um, this one does not do that. So you can use it again for free. Uh, now, the other things that they do have, which has some cool storyboarding and things like that, there is the Pro and the Plus version, um, but the free version is pretty simple um, since I already have it downloaded. But basically, all you have to do is click right there, and then you just download Drama Queen on to your uh, hard drive. Um, there is also a Drama Queen. They have very recently added that in the App Store, so you can also download it onto your phone and use that as well. All right, so now we've downloaded it off of Drama Queen. When we go and look at recent apps, we can see that it's right there. So what we're going to do is click on the Drama Queen icon, and then the next thing we're going to do is see them uh, ask you for information. So we'll see that in the next slide. All right, so now we've clicked in from the icon. We have pulled up Drama Queen, and now it's asking us if we want a new document, which we do want. We want movie TV. It's an individual work. We want a script. And so we understand that that is a new document, and then we are going to click New. All right, so now that we're into our document, what we're going to do is just kind of look at some preliminary things that you can add. Um, so let's just start with something simple like the title page. If we come up to text here, it's going to say title page. We're going to click to show title page. And then what's nice is then we just put in the title. So let's say my title is the family drama. My Kelly Cody. Grim, and then we go. Let's say I'm doing first draft, and then the date that I started my first draft, uh, we'll just say 47223. And then, yes, it is an original script. I am not writing a spec script. And then down here, I can do my contact details, so I can just put in my website. And then I, let's just say we'll do my email. Kelly at Creative Actors Lab. Okay, so for right now, you know, it's up to you if you want to 
add your address, your phone number. You know, it really depends what kind of contact information you want to have on there. You can, you know, certainly add your cell. And then um, when you are finished, and uh, that might be a tutorial for another day, um, but for the Writers Guild registration, and you can go on Writers Guild West, and then you just put in your Writers Guild registration number. What the Writers Guild registration number does is it gives you a timestamp for your script. So if something happens and somebody pretty much steals it directly, you have proof that you did register it with them. Um, ultimately, and again, we're getting kind of a little ahead of ourselves, but if someone did steal that, you know, idea almost verbatim, um, and you copyrighted it as well, um, then you could have a case for copyright infringement. I can tell you that the Writers Guild registration is $20, copyright would be $65. Writers Guild, you get your registration within seconds. Uh, copywriting, uh, I submitted something back in December uh, at the point that this is being recorded. It is still the first week of April 2023. It's been over four months and I have still not got my registration back. So just that you know. All right, so now we've already put in our title page. Yay! So now we're going to come up here and we're looking at our scene one. Again, this is something else that's really great about Drama Queen is it goes in and it will give you the scene. And so in um, interior, let's do bedroom, day. Um, so what I'm going to do is make sure when you are putting new characters in, always put them in caps. Because then if somebody is scrolling through your script, they can see right away, oh, Caps, that's a new character. So Helen, I'm going to describe her. So let's say she's in her 50s. Any ethnicity. Um, and that will tell me that I have misspelled that. That's another nice thing about here is I put in an I where I did not need to. Um, slender. Uh, blonde with a little gray. All right, so now we have a description of who one of our characters, uh, so Helen is talking to her husband, Tom. Again, we want to make that. So then we're going to describe Tom. So Tom is also in his 50s. He is also any ethnicity. I'm going to spell that correctly. Um, muscular with gray at the temples. All right. So Ellen is talking, or Helen is talking to her husband Tom, and they are getting ready to see their daughter, Abby. Actually, we want to introduce Abby's name just yet. I'm going to see their daughter. Tom is getting impatient to leave. All right, so that's our action line right there. So we've introduced two characters and that very brief action line, and we know that this is an interior bedroom day. So we want to establish that. Then what we're going to do is do speaking character. Now, what Drama Queen is great about is like, oh, well, you've got you've capitalized two names in here. We're going to guess that's Helen and Tom. So Helen's going to say, um, almost ready. And Tom might say, uh, come on. We need need to go and he might we might put yeah come on babe we need to go Helen okay I hate to be rushed um, we need to beat traffic Helen you're right let's go okay very simple scene. 
So again, we have written this in pretty much no time. Um, we've set that up, and again, I can just think and do the lines without having to sit there and go, wait a minute, um, you know, I need to get this, I need to get this done, I need to get this done. So you're not having to format, this does everything for you. So um, now there's other things that you can look at here. Um, you can always go in, either hit the tab, or you can go in under this and go general action. So if I was going to put another action line, Tom picks up suitcases and exits. Ellen grabs her purse. All right. So now we have that scene set up. So then what we're going to do is go to, you can do scene transition, but obviously if you're going from one scene to the next, you don't have to do cut to. That's not what they recommend anymore. So we'll just go to another scene heading, interior, um, Abby's uh, living room day and then we would do Abby in caps and then we can do it she's in her 20s any you can also do it that way Okay, so now we've got Abby. Aunt Abby. Let's see, I'm getting ready for mom and dad. something all right so she seems irritated and since that seems like would she be talking on the phone yeah I think she would be talking on the phone okay so then this way she's not necessarily leaning up against there the speaker is on and so then there's uh okay and then helen and tom all right so basically we've just kind of written two scenes very quickly and again, what I love about Drama Queen is we have our title page, we know it's our first draft, we have the date, uh, we have our contact info there, and we have just written two very simple scenes. So this is really how you can work with Drama Queen as far as the layout goes. You can go script. Um, if you don't want it quite as bold, I actually prefer my courier as new and less than bold, so I will change that. Then that takes that out. Um, but then what you can do, you just go and you save it, save as, um, family drama two, and you save that. And then let's say you want to export it. You can export it as a PDF and then we just export it and family drama two, and we save it. And now you can just share it you've got two pages there all right so that gives you an overview of how to use drama queen i'm actually going to show you now a script that's been fully completed and then how you can shift scenes around which is actually a really cool feature okay so lo and behold here is a one of the scripts that i've worked on um, the lioness kills tonight uh, what's nice is you can do the overview 
Um, and then what the overview gives you is, oh, look, these are all my scenes. So in this particular um, script, I have got 36 scenes. What is really nice is that if you kind of start a scene and you're like, you know what, I think that scene would be better here, you can move it. And it will move that. And then um, we can go right back here. Uh, and go back and put back this as the cold open. So we're back to the uh, cold open there. Uh, just one other thing I want to show you really quick because I also do get this question is if you're showing like a passage of time right here we have a cold open but let's say we wanted to do uh, this particular story, uh, The Linus Kills Tonight, takes place in 2010, but let's say we were going to do a flashback. So what it could be is interior flashback day. Oh. Flashback. And then um, what we could do is super... Um, what super means is superimposed in the bottom of the frame. Then we go 2010. Then that would let your reader know that that's what you're going to do. So if you have a flashback, that is the way to correctly do that. So um, I'm going to take that out of this script, though, because we are not flashing back. We are in 2010, but that just kind of gives you an idea of how to do those sorts of things there we go so anyway thank you all so much really appreciate it if you have any questions um, you can certainly send me an email i will include that at the end of this video um, kelly at creativeactorslab.com as well as you can check out our website for more interesting videos and things uh, www.creativeactorslab.com. Thanks so much, and you guys have a fantastic day.